Visit sailright.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. In this video, we're going to show you how to make mitered corners in heavy canvas fabric. When a double hem is created along two sides at a corner, a large chunk of fabric equaling nine layers is created at the corner. That amount of thickness is almost impossible for any fastener or grommet to go through. In this video, we're going to show you how to reduce the bulk and make a mitered corner. All right, we have a Sombrella marine grade fabric here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mitered corner, which reduces the bulk. And to show you that it can be done, because a lot of people think that with a heavier canvas, it just doesn't work as well. In my opinion, it does. So I'm going to measure up three inches and mark the fabric. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here, because I'm going to make a one and a half inch hem. You can make whatever hem you'd like. Um, but that, that's what I'm doing here. So three inches up from the edge. Uh, might as well just mark it for the next hem. The next hem will be one and a half. So we'll put the clear acrylic ruler here and I'll just mark that as well. Okay, so now we're gonna take our uh, seam stick basting tape for canvas and we're gonna put it along this edge. This is just a corner sample piece. Uh, obviously this would be a big project if you were doing a, a large project and you, do, you would do this with all the 90 degree corners if you'd like this. I'm going to press down my double sided tape with the Cerite uh, canvas patterning ruler just so that it sticks well. I'm going to peel off the transfer paper revealing the glue. Then I'm going to fold up to my line that's three inches up. This creates a one and a half inch hem here and then do it here. And the issue with uh, not taking out the bulk in the corner is that when you fold it again here, and then you fold it again here, I'm just gonna roughly fold it. Look at that chunk of, of fabric. That is a lot of layers to put a grommet through or a snap or a twist lock fastener. So how do we reduce it? This is one technique of many. So here's my uh, next fold line I'll be folding up to that line so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my clear acrylic ruler and there's the 45 degree line and I'm going to put it on that line directly over the top of it and then I'm going to move this to the edge da, 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 right there make sure it's lined up and then I'm going to take my soapstone pencil or fabric marking pencil whatever you have and mark across there to that corner Okay, so technically, in a way, if you carried this line over, it just runs into that and runs into that, as you can see. What we do next is we fold this so that the hems are on the outside. So we're going to fold it like this, leave this hang like it will, and all you need to do is match up the folded edge over here. And this should be right to a, a solid point, which it is. So the edges are lined up perfectly and we're just going to crease that area. Okay, so this is what you should see. You should see this line on top of that line on the opposite side. So it's directly over itself. And this is just hanging out. Okay, now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and sew right on that line. Okay, it doesn't matter if I sew on this side or if I sew on this side. You still have that line that we drew. What we want to do is we want to put this underneath and have the needle go right on top of that line. I definitely like to sew in about a three millimeter stitch length because I want my stitches to be fairly tight. That's what my reverse is set at approximately. Do some reversing here at the beginning. And I want to do a pretty good amount of reversing here because that has to hold. And I'm going to sew right on top of that line. And then I'm going to do some reversing here at the end. And it doesn't matter the thread color, I'm just using the whatever I had in the machine at the time because this is just a sample. And we're going to cut this and we'll go back to our table. So this is the folded edge and this is what we have uh, sewn. Now what I like to do to reduce the bulk at this corner is I actually like to just cut right at that stitch line going uh, basically uh, perpendicular to the folded edge. Chop it off. Okay, so that reduces the bulk there. Then I like to go and I like to cut 
approximately uh, an eighth inch or a quarter inch from the stitch. And you can use a hot knife if you like. So this hopefully will be a reduced bulk. So n now what I want to do is I want to open this up, but uh, I always like using double-sided tape. So what I'm going to do before I do that is I'm going to stick double-sided tape uh, on this edge that has to be folded up to here. So that way we can create our double hem. So I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to put it on this edge. Okay, because it's just easier when it's splayed open like this. I'm not going to take off the transfer paper. Take my finger, turn this right side out. Okay, remember, this umbrella marine grade is rather stiff. So you're going to have to push that corner out. I'll put my finger in there to kind of get that out. There we go. Finally did. So I'm pushing into that corner and getting that to fall neatly on there. And this takes out the bulk. And you can see even our thread doesn't show up. There's the outside surface. There's the inside surface. Gives it a nice look. There is a little bit of a bump in the middle because this is not a light fabric. And you can feel a little bump here. But you'll easily be able to install a snap or a grommet and you don't have all that bulk right here. So now I'm going to peel off my transfer paper and let's see if it ends up perfectly like I want it to. Peel off that. Peel off that, revealing the glue. And then this should fold right to that line. Look at that. It is going to fold right on that line. Bang. And bang. Like that. And as you can see, that creates a mitered corner with less fabric. We don't have nearly as amount, the amount of bulk. Now let's sew here and here. I'm going to put my machine back in a six millimeter stitch length because that's how I like to sew most of my marine canvas. Okay, we just sew across here. Now I'm not going to do any back tacking because this is a sample piece, if, but I'm going to sew right to that miter and I'm going to bury my needle basically almost on it. I'm going to use a reverse lever to adjust. There I'm on it and I'm going to lift my foot, rotate and sew down this side. This approach obviously reduces the bulk in the corner, making it easy to install fasteners or grommets. And you have three layers, which is highly recommended for any fastener application. I'm Eric Grant, and from all of us here at Sayerite, thanks for watching.